Hi, I'm Ashley, and welcome to RDA Hunter's Living Toolkit. We're here today at Varley Group to look at how maths is used in the workplace. Varley Group have been operating for over 130 years, and they work on a whole range of different products, including defence, police, ambulance, and fire engines. I have here with me Nick Percy, who is a senior design engineer here at Varley Group. Good morning, Nick. Good morning. Nick, we're here today to look at Pythagoras' theorem. Is that something that you would use here regularly at Varley Group? Absolutely. We use Pythagoras' theorem all the time in engineering. We use it to calculate the length of one side of a right angle triangle, given the length of the other two sides. As an engineer, I often have to test how a product will perform in the field before we have even made it. To do this, we come up with a scenario that might occur while the product has been used. Recently, we have been working on testing the capacity of a recovery point being installed on the Class 1 fire truck for Fire Rescue New South Wales. The Class 1, when fully loaded with equipment, can weigh over 16 tonnes, so it's important that we get our calculations correct. In one situation we looked at how long a recovery strap might need to be. Using this same information we can then determine the force on the cable and then the applied force to the vehicle. So we create a scenario where a truck has become bogged. A recovery truck can then be used as an anchor point that is located 3 metres off the track and 4 metres to the rear of the vehicle. By using Pythagoras theorem we can determine the length the recovery strap will need to be. These calculations can then be used to understand the forces at play between the two vehicles. Pythagoras' theorem states that the square of the hypotenuse, the side opposite the right angle, is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, or a squared plus b squared equals c squared. If we work out the lengths of c, we know how long our recovery strap will need to be in this scenario. In this case, a squared equals 3 times 3, which equals 9. B squared equals 4 times 4, which equals 16. So we know that C squared equals 9 plus 16, which equals 25. To find C, we need to work out the square root of 25, which is 5, because 5 times 5 equals 25. The length of C is 5 metres, and the length of our recovery strap needs to be at least that length to extract the fire truck. By using Pythagoras theorem, we now have the information we need to also work out the forces at play on the recovery strap between the two vehicles. So using this information we can work out the required strength of the recovery strap. Okay, fantastic. Thanks Nick, and thanks for taking us through the use of mathematics here at Bali Group. Thanks for having a look at this video. If you'd like to see more, go to www.meprogram.com.au.